guys, you are about to watch our fire cider or master tonic video. Um, we made it this afternoon, and then we decided to come back and do another video to put in front of it because I realized I really didn't explain why we're making our fire cider. And I wanted to kind of explain, in case you'd never heard of it before, I kind of assumed everyone had heard of it, and then I posted about it on Facebook and a few people didn't seem to know what it was, so pardon the sound of the kids. It's, it's supposed to be quiet reading time before bed, but they're kids. So, what we have here is basically, this liquid is going to turn into a really powerful powerhouse kick butt liquid for you to drink. You don't have to take a lot, like, I don't know, maybe a tablespoon a day, unless you're actually, like, you've come into contact with something you're starting to not feel good. It is anti-inflammatory, it is antiviral, it is immune boosting, um, it helps with your blood circulation, help keep you warm during the winter, there's a lot of warming things in here. Um, it'll help clear out your sinuses, horseradish is really, really good for that, so it'll help clear that out. Um, I think I watched a video that um, Rebecca Rhodes did. And they used this to help Justin with his Lyme's disease. So it's really, really strong stuff. There's a lot of different ways to make it. Our way is just one way. We kind of did a mashup of a few ways. So there's, I mean, you don't have to do it our way. You could change it up. Some people do oranges instead of the lemons. Some people don't do lemons at all. I saw a recipe that didn't put in the turmeric, but I really wanted the turmeric. Also, a lot of recipes we watched, they peeled um, all of their onions. They peeled the garlic. They peeled the ginger. They peeled everything. And the reason we didn't peel it is because there's a lot of nutrition in those peels. And we want that nutrition in our fire cider. You can peel it if you want to. I did a really good job cleaning it. I peeled just the outer layer of the onions off. We peeled um, some of the outer layers of the garlic off because you have to do that to get to the cloves. But for the most part, we left our skins on and just clean them really, really well. It's up to you. You can use cayenne peppers if you don't want to use um, jalapenos. You can add some cayenne to this along with the jalapenos. It's really good stuff. We didn't this time, partly because I really want my kids to take it. Um, but we might add a little bit of cayenne to ours and just kind of stir it in. Or we have um, capsules of cayenne we could take. So there's your explanation. I hope that that helps. Um, if you're still a little bit confused, go ahead and just Google Fire Cider or Google uh, Master Tonic. It's called a couple other names for those are the two most common. So, with that said, I hope you guys enjoy our video. Thanks for watching. Bye! Hey guys, it's Jen. We are making Fire Cider or Master Tonic, whichever you want to call it, they're the same thing. Today, we haven't made it before. We're going to try out these ingredients and see if we like them. It's kind of a mashup of two different recipes that we're doing. Um, so, there's apple cider vinegar. It's best to get the Bragg's apple cider vinegar. It's organic. It has the mother in it, which just means it has, like, the source of the, of what makes it good stuff. I'm really tired. All right, so we have two of those. I have a backup one if we need more. We shouldn't need more, but we might. We have... A pound of horseradish root um, and a lot of this is going to go in the food processor to try to just get it small so that it works best. We have about a pound of ginger rhizome, we have a little bit of turmeric, we have some jalapeno peppers, you can use whatever peppers you want, they just hot peppers are good and that's just what we had available. We have some garlic and then and onions, onion type does not count, these were just the least expensive. And then we have organic lemons. Most of this is organic. If it was available organic, that's what we picked. The lemons, this is not a set amount. I have more in my pantry. We're going to fill it up with everything else, and then we're going to see how many lemons we can get to fit. Um, as I said, this is not a specific recipe. We're kind of using a mashup. I'll try to put everything specifically that we use below um, in the description box so that you know. And we'll see. If we don't love, love, love it this time, we might change something up. I know some people add an orange to theirs instead of lemon. Some people don't do lemons at all. Some people don't do turmeric. Some people add herbs. It just really depends. So we're going to try this and see if we like it. We're putting it in a gallon glass jar. I got this off of Amazon. Um, I'll put the link below. It's not an affiliate link. It's just all just links. You can find it easy if you want. It has a plastic lid if that bugs you. It doesn't bother me for this. So, we are going to get to chopping and food processing and filling up the jar, and then we'll bring you back and show you what it looks like. Also, want to let you know um, the onion, we're taking out the first few layers, 
Um, and same with the garlic, just the, the outer skin. Um, but other than that, we are leaving them as whole as possible. Um, same with like the, the turmeric and the horseradish and the ginger rhizome. Um, we're just going to be, again, cleaning them, not trying to take off that outer layer. Um, just trying to get them as clean as possible before we cut them up. Okay, so here we, again, we kind of grated up the horseradish, the ginger rhizome, the garlic. Um, we chopped up the onion, we chopped up the peppers, and then we put the um, lemons on top. Again, most of it we tried to leave as much of the peel as possible just because, a little, again, a lot of those nutrients are in the peel. Um, and now we're going to start pouring in the apple cider vinegar. And we did wash everything really, really well. We used a Norwex fruit and veggie scrubber cloth. I've got a couple and I love them. They're well worth the price. They actually, the scrubby side does really well. It can take the peel off of potatoes if you scrub enough. And um, it'll, it started to take the peel off the turmeric. See all the pretty yellow color from the turmeric? And we didn't use a lot of turmeric, we just had three small pieces. But I really wanted to get that in there, it's a really good anti-inflammatory. Which is a problem when you're sick, because stuff gets inflamed. probably fit another lemon in there, but I'm not going to worry about it. I think it'll be okay. I'm I think oh, and it's going to filter down too. I can see lots of bubbles. Is that there? Alright, we're going to give it a minute. I can see oh, some bubbles coming up. We'll let it settle and make sure we do have enough in there. And then the uh, process is to let this sit for... Four to six weeks. We'll check it probably at three weeks and just see what we think the flavor's doing. But four to six weeks, I'm probably going to try to shake it at least once a day. Um, I know some people don't, but I've taken some herbalist classes and it's really beneficial to shake it. From what I've heard, you don't have to burp it. Some people do, some people don't. I don't feel like the lid on ours is going to be so airtight that it's going to be a big issue. But if I think of it, I might burp it. We'll see. Because all this just needs to sit in here and ferment. When you ferment stuff, it builds up gases in um, and I don't have one of my lids that has like a burping mechanism in it. I don't have one the right size for this. So it should be fine. I've heard a lot of people don't bother to burp it. So we're just going to let it sit for a little bit. See if we need to add any more of the apple cider vinegar. Um, as everything kind of settles, I might push it down with a spoon. We'll see. I don't want to mess with it too much. But that is it. That's what we've got. I think it looks lovely. Really pretty. Um, I'll try to remember to put the recipe below. And that's it. We will try to film when we open it and see what everybody thinks of the flavor. The kids are sitting here and they're not looking too thrilled. There's some strong smells in here right now. Um, but I, I don't know. I think it looks good. I'm hoping it'll help our health this winter. So, hope you guys are having a great week. If you have any questions, please comment below with them. If you've made fire cider, please post if you did anything different than what we did ingredient-wise. We'll talk to you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.